the reality is, hey, that's like, it's, it's really good, it's like you want to it is your job to do that, and you can make it all better. And that's what we're doing in our part, is we can create a place for each of our clients. And, you know, some of us do what we're doing. We created a style guide for a lot. And so we go in and we and we set up the chat for a particular practice. These are our doctors, and you can tell them like some of them, these are the specialties of the art. These are the art, absolutely. And we see that you see that it's better and better. And we can do that based on the same question of knowledge of how these practices work. And you can, you know, really help and do the analysis to make that feel better. So, Jen was just recently at a content conference, and then at that conference, it seemed like almost every session was about AI and how they're using AI to simplify whatever they're doing. So, um, we thought it made sense to do an episode about the teachers who are there and the ways that we are leaning into AI and kind of using that to provide any value for our clients. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, um, so I flew out, which is last year, I flew out to DC for the Center of Marketing World Cup, which was basically every brand under the sun was there, every major place in the middle and non Western states, including like Susan from the English Texas Library, every major brand. And it felt almost as if the conference at some point in the middle of the to change the topic because every single session now was really good on that. And then on top of it, I took everything that I got from that session and we blew up this thing. And the big thing that I had to kind of fly out to Texas and deliver a big copy of that thing to a bunch of practice managers and all those engineers. And I took the last topic of that presentation and just talked about how practice managers can use AI to better make the practice. And so it really brought this thing to the end. Yeah, I did a talk on the engineering group in Florida a couple months ago and I had. The idea was like, let's do five like big things to pay attention to. And then I got to number four, which was AI, and I was like, why am I going to spend most of my time here? Like, every, you know, like, the biggest value in everything. So I was like, this is what we're going to want to talk about. This is like, the things that we've heard on the news and everything. So I spent a bulk of my time. Yeah, I literally took the slides from that presentation, put them in my deck, and then just like, good enough. Yeah, so the conference, they were really a couple of items. Key takeaways that I was thinking about, and you know, these are the biggest things that we can get into. Um, so, really, one was, you know, look, if you are from a marketing perspective, if you are not a good editor, if you are not good at writing social media, you are not good at creating images, you are not good at, you know, building websites or making things in the backyard, AI is not going to improve your life. It is not going to improve what you have in mind. It's just not. But if you are a teacher, then maybe you need some ideas to bring to you and you want to play with it and stuff. You can really like spend some time to help you become a better actor for yourself. It can make you better. Yeah, I would say that the person that's been my experience with AI. Oh, when you're talking about AI, what are you talking about? So for me, I would say my go to the go to tool in terms of yeah, um, specifically because I'm creating a lot of written content typically, and so I like to say that you can see usually like it doesn't really help me cross the finish line, but it does help me get up and running quickly. And I think one of the ways that it's been able to do that is something that they talked about in the conference meeting last year, which is sort of training almost to be in the system. And so the more that you use it, if you haven't used it, the way that it's set up is kind of strange. It's going to want to see like any traffic that you've seen on a website and it's something you can use. And then it's just a response back. But the science is, if you're within a certain chat, it will remember all of that chat history and the things that you tell it, it will then apply to future chats within that thread. So, for example, if you are working on some social posts on a website, and you have already full chat GPT in your thread, you should refer to our doctor in this way. And we don't use emojis, many of our social posts. And our audience 
Yeah. 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 Um, I feel that as the training that needs to be for the first once you have that foundation ready, you can really see that consistency. It really is. And there's kind of like the three kind of ways I would say that's really important. One is, somewhat of the two, if you're able to cross it correctly, you can be very general. Like that, a puppy, like that, a dog, do whatever. You can, I mean, you can go to the agency and you can say, compare my company to this company. It'll be for now. When you can face it now, it will help you in the future. Or, if you want to take what you're talking about right now and make it really interesting, almost a clone or a, what do you call it? Doppelganger. Almost a doppelganger of yourself. So, I'm Jennifer, you hire me, right? You put in some ideas. But I have a highly trained AI tool that works in the Jennifer. And Jennifer can bust out some, some real content and some strategies and things of like that nature. And, you know, and then the whole kind of third part is, I'm going to like you to be like, you know, you can make it even more. You know, I'm doing a lot of the part of the I'm doing right now, covering um, Fortnite, which is Fortnite's an outreach strategy for a very large group project. And then I'm using AI as a sounding board to my ideas and asking for now to take my baseline ideas. So I'm saying, kind of like, just fine. Uh, this is 45 year old soccer mom, so it's over 45 to 54 age bracket. And I'm saying I need to reach these moms um, from the street standpoint of this medicine. They're on the sidelines for the kids, but that's not a reach kids because they're still under the same concern. AI has to write this, um, write this, you know, lucky group. And it's giving me a ton of, you know, there's a lot of strategy in my mentality. Little pieces of it that I'm able to then take to the mind and some other strategies and then take those things up. So it can be a tip, it can be a true assistant, or it can be a use. And there's plenty of ways to do it. Yeah, I mean, I think some of the most easily implemented ways are definitely what we're talking about. It's just sort of um, you know, treating as better as you can. I don't say that the ladies are perfect, I think that's what we're trying to do in terms of standards. Um, but treating it as though you're having a gradual conversation. Mm -hmm. And if you have a conversation with it, um, it tends to uh, do pretty well. The one thing that I found um, in using it as kind of really the assistant of me is kind of very helpful because that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm familiar with um, it. It sounds kind of weird, but I, I heard this at a conference that I went to. I started to do it. I really think it makes a difference. Is when you start, you almost have to like pump up the data. Like you have to like, set the stage for it, right? Like always. So, right. so, so the, the prompt really makes a difference. Um, and, and so, for example, like if I'm going to go through and say I need help creating a social media calendar, and I'm focused on let's say uh, the summertime session, I think that's the prompt. And so going to someone and say I need uh, three posts a week for a month spot with a focus on um, protecting your skin for the summer. So there's going to be a special list on the I don't know what special list, but let's call it $100 um, a product that's going to make the skin look calendar. And before I started, I said, okay, so that you can see you are the greatest copywriter in the world, and your specialty is social media, specifically for my specialty. And so the first thing I said back to me was great. I understand my one that I have one of the biggest things in the world. And then it spit out this, um, it spit out these, these things which were good. And if I didn't talk it that way, they would have been probably very hard to talk to me. And I would have had a ton of editing to do. And I still did, obviously, have to go in and kind of like the layer of what was there. But because I profited it and I said, like, put, put yourself in DC and tell you are this. And then produce something that that you know, it's gone far before it even It doesn't pretty good job. I feel like that's quantum because AI is not going to make you a better price no. However, if you train AI, you know, your AI is really possible. What's your name? Mine? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? 
the strong story, so it would be quarterback.
I would go as so far to say it's in my house and like asking us to run and use it and they say, no, don't hide. I can do it. And I would say, you know, ask the question that you can see how they make sense. Because that cost is going to the pretty thing that we're going to get on the job because you know, it's just a matter of time. Right now, we're talking about these protecting fees and balance and whatever else to help us do better at that level. Um, or to train them to really be to be a double of ourselves. But the reality is, that sooner rather than later, as it's probably happening today, everything's going to be done. So we're seeing that we do it. So we are on the dual stage. And we will go out and they will have for all of the AI to help you in the and the implementation and things like that. And it's a little bit different than the first, but I think it's going to be something. One is, well, that would be, you know, better understand how it's used. And then if you really want to get into the lead, you see if they're going to get out of that and marketing the process, ask them how to do it. Mm-hmm. Or have them do a platform you know, on site and see how it works in their producer. Because there's nothing worse than plugging in there and somebody thinking that it's just putting it into a spreadsheet and then asking someone else to review it, which you know it was a spreadsheet. And the person doesn't think beyond whatever that app was that they produced, and then get you know, just adding that to the job. So they just start thinking and talking to the HR department of, you know, we know this is coming, how can we hire to get the best company? Yeah, yeah, that's a great point. You know, it, it's like, um, so that's what we said at the top. So AI is a tool, but just like any trade, it's only as effective as whatever the job is, right? Like you wouldn't use the hand to paint a wall. So you can use AI for everything and not think about it. So if you're using it properly and, and you have um, any really so many prompts and some of the things that we're talking about, so that, in other words, you have to put in the investment up front, and it's an ongoing thing, um, but to make it successful, you can't just say, hey, I need both pieces of content about whatever it is you're expecting to directly copy and paste them and put them on the website. And I can make a 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 
If you want more like this, hit like and subscribe so you'll always be alerted to new episodes when they come out. And if you want information about us, visit us over at insightmg.com. That's insightmg.com. We'll see you on the next episode.